This is Gregory Shelton with Historic Living Modern World. It's a very special day today because as we know we're in the fall and we're preparing for our yearly Christmas market and that means we need to prepare for cool drinks. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very special drink. It's called the Colonial Flip. Studies show that George Washington would drink this in, his, in the taverns that he traveled to and it was his favorite drink. Research shows that he never actually paid for this drink, but everyone, every tavern he went to, people would always pay his tab. It's his favorite drink. We're going to make one for you today, show you how to make it. It's going to be a special event, a special drink. Stay tuned. So when we're talking about making this great drink, the first thing I want to highlight are the tools of the trade. Now I want to show you what I have here. First, this is a special, special thing because I handmade this with our local blacksmith. This is called a loggerhead, okay? This is what every tavern owner would have in their arsenal when they're making drink like this in, in the uh, colonial times. It it's really has a heavy end, but it's, it's solid metal. This was pounded right, at, right, right in a blacksmith shop Again, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece and I love it. Okay, next we have a nice pewter colonial pitcher because this is what's going to hold our drink while we're making it. We have some nice spiced rum. It's going to provide a little bit of extra sugar there, but it's really going to provide the kick that we need for this drink. We have some fresh molasses, which again will pro provide some sugar, a little thickness to the drink. Very important. If you don't like molasses, you can use a sugar syrup. That's not a problem, but really trying to stay colonial with this drink. Have a little bit of, of nutmeg, dried nutmeg will go in a little bit in the drink, but it will go on top for almost a little bit of a garnish. But the smell of nutmeg is irreplaceable. We have a nice porter ale. You can use a stout for this. A coffee stout would be nice, but a porter ale was really what they would have used in the colonial times. Nice dark, dark beer. We have a nice, beautiful handmade piece of pottery that uh, friends of mine who are amazing potters made has a Poplar Hall logo, and this is what I drink all the drinks that I make from, from things like this. And that's what you need. But the most important thing is a roaring fire. Those embers are what's going to make the loggerhead heat up, which we will show you soon. And that's what's going to make this drink have an amazing wow factor. So when you're making your drink, the first thing you do is you take your loggerhead, you make sure your fire is roaring and you have a lot of deep red embers. Without that, this drink is never going to work because the end of this loggerhead it's going to be buried into those hot embers. We're not going to take it out until the end of the loggerhead is as red as those embers. And when, let me tell you, when this goes into our drink, it's going to be like a cappuccino of, of the olden days. So let's put this into the fire and get ready to get going. Okay, so we're ready to start making this drink. We have our loggerhead in the embers of the fire. It's getting incredibly hot. We need it to get a little bit hotter. So let's start making the liquid part of our drink. So we're going to be using one full bottle of our dark ale. Okay, now you want to add about two to three ounces of your spiced dark rum. You want to add about two tablespoons of molasses. This is providing the sugar that you'll need. Okay, you want to put a little bit of nutmeg inside, a little sprinkle. All right. So a lot of a lot of these recipes have a lot of different ingredients in them. This is the this is the standard colonial flip. The only thing that you might see if you look for other recipes are they tend to put eggs in them. That is not my thing. I've tried that. I don't like the the consistency it provides. I, I omit the eggs, but you can, you can add them if you like. Same experience if you decide to do it. So you want to give this a nice quick stir. Okay, it's time to get our loggerhead out of the hot fired embers. Okay, always wear a glove because this thing can get hot. And you bring it over to your drink, and this is where the fireworks start. Look at that. Can you hear that? 
basically what happens here is the hot iron is toasting all the sugars that are in your drink. And I can smell it. Wow. Oh my God, it smells like a caramel. It smells beautiful. What I like to do is I like to stir it, but I like to leave the loggerhead in until you stop hearing it sizzle. Then you know it's ready to pull out and put it back in the fire for your next drink. We've made a flip here. So this is beautiful. So we used our loggerhead. It stopped sizzling. So we know we're ready to almost pour. Okay, take your loggerhead out. And we're gonna get ready to put that in the fire because you just can't make one drink. You have to make many. Okay, so we have our beautiful mixture here. It is complete other than the fact that we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of fresh nutmeg on top. So you grab your, uh, your vessel, pour in. Oh, look how dark that is. All right. Oh my gosh, I can smell the toastiness in this drink. This would be something amazing. You had a bonfire around, you had your own fire on the back of your porch or the back of your farm. This is something that you really wanna to try to make because you're bringing so many beautiful things together a handmade fire that you're going to have anyway. And then you have beer, you have molasses, things you would get on a farm, put it together, and make an amazing drink. Oh my gosh. This is so special. I, I, this is one of my favorite drinks, especially for this time of year. The ingredients are incredibly simple, but the taste of this, if made right, sounds tastes so complicated. There's so many things going on because whenever you cook, whenever you're caramelizing anything, you're adding a little fire in there and then it changes the dynamic, which is exactly what this flip has done. The embers and the hot loggerhead has toasted all the sugars effectively. The oats and the barley and the beer are coming out into the forefront and this is one amazing drink. I can't wait to introduce this at our Christmas market. Mm. Oh, this is Gregory Shelton from Historic Living Modern World reminding you whenever you try to do something, always make sure you work to move people. Cheers.